Hi guys, got another figure review today, and um, we're looking at the Playhouse Kai uh, Rorschach from Watchmen. Uh, finally got it um, from yesterday. Um, obviously, I couldn't do the review yesterday; I was just too tired, and uh, came back from work and gym, and there's a lot of shit happening. And there was traffic, so it was hell. Um, so anyway, enough of that ball. Um, yeah, so I got this figure yesterday from Miami. And uh, it took a bit of time to get it, I don't know why, but yeah, but like it didn't uh, caught in costumes. So, anyway, here we go, the man himself, Rorschach, from Watchmen. And uh, yeah, so we're going to look at the packaging and uh, other things to come. Um, here we go, looking really nice, you can see Rorschach pulls in at his backside, looking really nice. Really cool side packaging. This is my first roll check figure, so because I do, I do, I did want one to get a roll check figure, but you know, but I never liked how the figures looked and such and forth. Then it says, Who watches the Watchmen? Got more poses at the back. And it says Rorschach, it's got some Japanese text as well. I'll show you a bit more closer. And uh, point packaging, more side packaging. And you can see the clock. Uh, and more over here, and that's about it. And uh, once you, what was that? Once you open it, let's go back a bit. You get to see the man himself and Broker opening. Then it says behind you, and then he's got his history. To take this off my tripod, and uh, it shows it here. You can try to pause it and read it if you like, but. The camera's not gonna pick up that well. So yeah. And all these glories there. I'll show more once I take out the packaging. Okay, so we're gonna take a little break guys and uh, see what we get, shall we? Okay guys, I finally took out the packaging and this is how it looks like. Um when I first took out the packaging, um I'm like, whoa, this is really Rorschach himself, and uh, obviously the Playhouse guy did a good job capturing um, Rorschach's essence from the from the comics and the movie, and uh, you know he's a really dark character, obviously, and you probably know you know of his demise. Um, so yeah, really in interesting individual, but the main thing we'll look at the figure itself. Um, yeah, so we're just going to look at the the, the paint application and the artillery, artillery of his design. So, the man himself, Rorschach, uh, he's got his waistcoat, obviously, and his uh, trousers he wears, and his iconic hat, obviously. Let me just go a bit forward a bit. And, uh, yeah. Um, but nice detail on these uh, waistcoat, obviously. It's got like this brown texture, obviously, it's like a dark brown. And, uh, you can see his face go. Rorschach wears this um, unique mask that keeps changing um, because it's got like this type of texture, it's got like ink on it. But he's got three head sculpts, so I'll show you more. Um, but it's nice, but you can take the hat off. Or the fedora, if you want to call it. Um, so yeah, and there you can see he's uh, scarfed on underneath. So in a really nice detail, you can see the buttons and such and forth. The back. Nice detail on the hat, let me show you more. Like a, like a ruby red. It's got like a dirty brown, you can see the inside. So, really good how they did that. And this really bugs me, they put the brown uh, 
on the plastic so you know you can move the joints that's why because they can't copy the the brown OC so they have to make it like that unfortunately um, you can see his uh, fist is like these gloves obviously they're like dirty brown so pretty cool and you can see his trousers like a purplish brownish type of trousers it's got nice detailing it's really cool and these boots go like a dirty brown as well so pretty cool um, but yeah but I'll show you more of the head sculpt and uh, just looks white on this on his bald head <laughs> but you can see his face sculpt it looks like you know he doesn't have a mouth or anything really unique character so yeah um but you but you show you more this is all plastic obviously it's like rubber plastic so and i think he can take it off but i'm not going to so so yeah okay now let's go back and uh talk about articulation and accessories okay so uh let's do this um uh, let's go back a bit are we good yes so the head articulates obviously but careful because of the waistcoat and the hat it can only do left and right you can only go up that much unfortunately but you can go down a little bit and that's it you can't do 360 unfortunately um his arm articulates upwards that much and forwards it's got nice bicep articulation you can hit the ratchet joints hand articulates it's got nice joints as well you can see the joints there torso articulation not so much unfortunately because it's got two separate pieces i'll show you more um so yeah um, leg articulates that much in a 90 degree angle but the waistcoat does get in the way so it's unfortunate can you do the splits? No, unfortunately, but we can do it that much. You can see the knee joints as well. And this also happened again with the knee joints. They just painted really badly. And he's got foot articulation, toes articulation, and no ankle pivot. So that's it guys on the articulation. Really limited, really kind of stiff figure unfortunately, but that's how it is. So uh, let me just make him stand up again. And uh, I'm not using the stands barely. I use what I need to, but I, I really don't want to use these stands anymore. These are uh, crap stands. Um, let me just fix this for you, but so you can stand up. Stand up. There you go. Good boy. Um, so yeah. So uh, let's talk about accessories now. Um, First thing first, I'm gonna talk about his uh, like his grappling gun. It's it's similar to Batman, obviously, but uh, but obviously it's different. And uh, you can see nice detailing. It's got nice silver paint application, bit of gold, and the hand has got like a ruby red. And you can see Rorschach symbol. So it's pretty cool and it's got extra accessory this thing is kind of weird i don't know where to put this it doesn't really tell me the instructions so this is kind of weird as well so i don't know what to do with that and uh he's got like four extra hands five extra including default hands um, but those are the two possible, possible hands. Let me show you. There you go. I'm going to stand quickly. And uh, let me show you. There's one he's holding the, the fire can. He does it in the movie. And you can't take off the can, obviously, unfortunately. But it does look nice if you want to pose them with the frame for her. And 
Moment, was do I know? Hand over here. Look like you can hold a rose over there. So that's pretty cool. And he's got another hand over here. Well, I'm just taking out the box. But this one you can hold the flames with. It. It's two separate pieces, the flame, so. So yeah, here we go. And uh, that's about it on the hands. And then he's got the flame. There we go. Nicely detailed. It's like a weathered yellow and orange, so pretty cool. He's got his other piece here. It's a more bigger piece, obviously. And I think you have to put the thing over there, the flame. So, pretty cool. He's got his waistcoat. Could do that breaded look. But this you have to you know connect it on his waistcoat, but it does tell you how to put it on. So it shouldn't be too hard to put it on. So give him that cool look. And uh he's got a rose, I'm gonna show you that now. Oh, this thing is tiny, so I'm not gonna use this unfortunately. One well, accessory, and he's got his journal. Oh. Rorschach's journal, nicely detailed. It says journal 1984 to 1985, and you probably know why. And he's got two extra head scopes. One over here, and one over here. Well, I do like the first one, so I'm gonna leave it to that, so. Pretty creepy looking. And that's about it. Um, yeah, and it comes with the stand itself. Okay guys, um, so let's wrap this up. So, uh, is it worth getting it? Um, yeah, it's okay. Um, I'll see, uh, Rorschach, it's, you know, a unique character, but, but especially go for the Watchmen fans only. Um, obviously, I'm kind of a fan of Watchmen, obviously, when I watch the movie and read the graphic novels. So, you know, uh, if you do want to get it, guys, go right ahead. You can still buy it from Amiyami or any other Japanese websites. Go right ahead. Or if you're waiting it to get it from your country, you have to wait a couple of months later on. Um, but this figure's going to cost you around 50, 60 quid, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's not a cheap figure, obviously. Uh, you probably may pay more in your country. Um, but, yeah, but on top of that, um, if you get caught in customs, you have to pay more. So, luckily, I didn't have to pay customs, obviously. Thank God. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, it's a cool looking figure. Um, I highly recommend you should get it for all the Watchmen fans. But if you're not a big fan of the, or if you like a big fan of the movie, then go ahead, right? Get it now. Um, what else can I say? Uh, this is the only figure they will be making Play at Sky. They're not going to make the other guys, unfortunately. So this is the only line they will be doing. Um, but yeah, it's really unique. Um, you know, Play at Sky made this figure really out of the blue moon. So, uh, so yeah, I think um, you know they can make more in the future if they if they want to because you know Play at Sky they can do anything they want. So yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, celebrate, comment, add, and share. And uh, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and uh, yeah, and uh, oh, I forgot uh, how tall he is. Um, yeah, he stands a lot in. Obviously, um, over ten inches, just the side of my scissors, ten and a half inches. You know, usually. So yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Peace, more to come. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed my figure review. And uh, thanks for watching. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be get and I get back to you soon. Okay, bye. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm out.